Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Life's no fun without a good scare and in this video there are plenty of sinister stories and eerie experiences waiting for you. Survival horror is more than just jump scares encompassing everything from action titles to psychological thrillers. Without further ado, here's my list of the best survival horror games to play in 2023. If I forgot your favorite, reach out and let me know in comments and as always don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this video. Resident Evil Village takes place after the events of Resident Evil 7. Players are tossed back into the role of Ethan Winters whose world is again turned upside down during the game's opening moments when Chris shows up and seemingly takes his child. Now stranded in a remote village in the middle of nowhere, Ethan is forced into fighting all kinds of horrifying enemies from lichens to vampires. Just like with the previous installment, the game requires you to find weapons and ammo to take down enemies along the way. You'll also have a series of puzzles to solve and some intense boss battles to fight. The weapons might be a bit limited, but you'll get the chance to swap around between certain guns or make some slight upgrades. This title follows an agent named Kyle Crane who is tasked with infiltrating the quarantine zone city of Heron which has become infected with a virus turning civilians into ruthless zombies. The zombies in this game follow a day and night cycle. During the day, the zombies are lethargic and won't put up a fight. However things quickly change for the worse at night as they become incredibly more aggressive. Developers have also tossed in some parkour elements allowing players to easily traverse the city and its obstacles when fleeing the undead hordes. Combat has been changed from the melee focus in Dead Island towards more gunplay, giving players a true action-adventure experience. In this title, you're dealing with a 1 vs 4 gameplay, where 4 players are survivors attempting to complete a series of goals and escape the area. Meanwhile, one hostile player takes on the role of a monster. The goal for the monster is simple, stop the others from escaping. This means slaughtering the players, but you'll have to keep moving. Taking too long to commit murder could give another time to escape. Fortunately, those that are down can get rescued by another player in the area. This game is still heavily supported today with new crossover events constantly being added into the mix. You can find all sorts of iconic IPs being featured whether it's from a film franchise such as A Nightmare on Elm Street or a video game IP like Silent Hill. The Evil Within was directed by Resident Evil series creator Shinji Mikami. The game focuses on Sebastian Castellanos, a detective that gets pulled into a distorted world during an investigation. Staying true to the survival horror genre, The Evil Within will have players struggling against the fight with nightmarish creatures while avoiding traps, sneaking around the world and solving complex puzzles. Likewise, the video game series received a new installment with The Evil Within 2. The title takes place three years after the events of the first game, where Sebastian once again takes on a new investigation that involves his daughter who he thought was deceased. The sequel may have a few little hiccups in comparison to the original, but both are definitely well worth playing today. Alien Isolation is set 15 years after the events of the film Alien, and players will take on the role of Amanda Ripley, the daughter of Ellen Ripley who is on an investigation to track down her mother after she mysteriously disappeared. Much like other old-school survival horror titles, Alien Isolation has an emphasis on avoiding the hostile alien enemy. Instead, gamers must rely on some stealth mechanics to maneuver around the game and solve the mystery before it's too late. Developed by Supermassive Games, the game follows a group of eight characters who decide to hold a holiday retreat at a cabin within a fictional mountain resort in Western Canada. However, their holiday retreat quickly turns sour as they learn that a psycho killer is on the loose, forcing the group to survive until sunrise. 
If you enjoy choice-based video games then this title will be a must-play. Gamers will be able to control the characters at various points in the narrative while making critical choices along the way. Depending on the choices made, the narrative will change and result in certain characters not making it through the night. If you've ever wanted to know what it feels like to hold someone's life in your hands, this is a perfect choice. Widely regarded as an example of narrative brilliance in games, Alan Wake is an atmospheric thriller set in the fictional town of Bright Falls. Experience a nightmare made reality as thriller novelist Alan Wake, who must explore various areas of Bright Falls in order to solve the mystery of his wife's disappearance. This game world is all about survival in an open world environment where darkness is literally taking over. The creepiness of the game's story really underpins the setting of Bright Falls, which in itself has an overwhelming horror film-like small American town vibe to it. Immerse yourself in this incredible world and go on a psychological trip you won't forget in a hurry. With plenty of vocal pleas for developers to bring out a remake of Resident Evil 2, Fans finally saw their dream come true with a new release of the title for current generation platforms. This remake does exactly what Capcom did with the original installment. The remake of Resident Evil 2 brought in an overhaul to the visuals which made the game look fresh and defined, while some changes were made to the overall gameplay. Likewise there was a change to the camera system and players aren't dealing with a fixed camera perspective this time around. Instead the development team decided to bring in an over-the-shoulder camera angle bringing the player closer to the action. Luckily, the game wasn't altered in terms of the story. <laughs> Outlast 2 follows similar game mechanics from the first installment. This time around, players will take on the role of Blake Langerman, an investigative journalist and cameraman. On their journey, Blake and his wife become separated after their helicopter crashes. Much like the last installment, gamers are not able to engage in combat with the enemies that lurk about. Instead he'll mostly have to hide and run away from any nearby danger while using his night vision camera to get a clear view of the area. Who's... Engines, hull, the tramps. Can you handle it alone? Fix the centrifuge. Get the fuel running. Horror games in the video game space are notorious for their inconsistent natures. But with the Dead Space remake, you'll get the horror feeling that the original game delivered, but with a new coat of paint that makes it all the more special. Specifically, they upgraded the visuals and the audio to deliver a truly terrifying experience as you wander around the ship you were brought in to help fix. But things can only get bad when you never know what lies around every corner. So be smart. Pay attention to what's around you and figure out the truth.